Hi buddies, I am here for a quick <laughs> Hi buddies, I'm here quickly to open some beautiful mail and in about 30 minutes I'm gonna go and have lunch with my friend Jen who is also an aspiring youtuber and I might bring you along for that as well if she's game we'll see but first I just want to open some mail because I'm still receiving it and it's beautiful especially this Oh my goodness. This is a very special one because it is coming from Penultimate Dave. Very exciting. We've got it all here. We have Harry Potter stamps, rubber stamps, wax seal, washi tape. It might be time to do another mail art envelope roundup on my blog. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Ah! Oh my goodness! I just dropped a jillion stickers in my lap. This is a beautiful one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am spoiled. <laughs> I love <laughs> Bugs Bunny stationery. Dear Sarah, you are a superstar. Hello and welcome. You have absolutely no idea or clue who I am or where I am from. Not true. <laughs> Although the envelope may give some clues to that. I am Pen Penultimate Dave on Instagram and YouTube, which is exactly where I know you from. We have followed each other on Instagram for a while now and have since watched most of your videos and love them. You said you love to receive snail mail and that you love fountain pens and everything stationary. So here's my letter to you. Feel free to write back if you would like, and I shall. The first thing that interested me in your videos is that you are very quirky, bubbly, and completely open about your feelings. That's, you can pretty much write that on my tombstone. That's, that's me. <laughs> I know if, as you were reading this, you were probably doing a funny frowny face and thinking, really? No. But honestly, it's actually a good thing to be open and honest and down to earth and not put up a facade that many do on YouTube. I've never been good at that. <laughs> the second thing was, of course, do you love everything snail mail and letter writing? As do I. I like everything from fountain pens, inks, dip pens, washi tape, wax seals, ink stamps, and I love to write letters and I love to receive letters. Having a letter drop through my letter box is the highlight of my day and cheers me up when I'm feeling down and need encouragement. Ooh, oh my gosh. Every different page is in a different color ink and I am delighted. <laughs> the third thing that resonated with me was that we both started our YouTube journey last year, literally days apart from each other. So I know the trials and tribulations that you're having with evil algorithms. So a little introduction from me. I started out on Instagram a couple of years ago, primarily into fountain pens and ink and do love to write letters, no joke. I typically write and receive around 40 letters per month of this size of letter, wow. I have pen pals around the world of, although a lot are in the US. Back to fountain pens. I started posting photos of my pens on Instagram and a few people suggested I do video reviews. I did a couple of Instagram lives, which were very successful. So I asked my followers whether they'd like to see more videos from me. Well, a few days later, I had looked at the poll and 99% of people had voted yes. With encouragement from Brian Goulet and others, I started traveling the slippery slope called being a YouTuber. I now have over 185 videos in my channel in the space of a year with a further 50 already recorded waiting to be released. <laughs> I batch like three or four at a time, but that's very impressive. Wow. So far, there are no signs of me hitting the brakes and I really do enjoy doing it and giving something back to the community. Like you, my YouTube is more of an interest a hobby as I have a day job. So what little time I have spare, I spend either recording videos or writing letters. I'm not as photogenic as you. <laughs> not about that. Please take that as a compliment. So I tend to not be on camera, but maybe that will change over time. There are a few photos of me on Instagram and my pen club videos. I see you say you like Lamy and Sailor fountain pens and stock them in the shop. I have over 170 fountain pens. <sighs> wow. And over 270 full-size bottles of ink. The ink I have calculated will last in me three lifetimes. I'm sure you, like me, lead a very busy life with running a business and everything you have going on, both inside and outside of the store. But if you have the time to write back, then I'd love to hear from you. I see you like postcards and stickers, so I've included some that I think you may like from this side of the pond, as well as some BB-8 <laughs> that I've seen you mention Snail Mill Superstar Junior likes. Oh, he will be thrilled. Keep up the great work you are doing both on YouTube and also in your business. The stationary world needs people like you that are passionate and emotional about the little things as well as the big things. Equally, mental health is such a taboo subject ever in today's society, even in today's society. And whether we agree or not, it affects us all. 
What you are doing to raise awareness of mental health is fabulous. You had me in tears watching several videos sharing in your grief and pain. There are times in life when we are hit sideways by a freight train that derails us. But a year or two later, we can look back and see how we coped and how it has made us a better person is the most important part. I love all the work you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Remember, if you enjoy doing it, that's the most important part. Keep doing things that you enjoy that bring you happiness in life. Thanks for reading my letter, and I hope to hear from you if you have the time. Best regards, Dave. I love the way the light hits them. Thank you so much for your letter, Dave. Here are the beautiful postcards. Got baby eight. And lots of super fun Star Wars stickers that my son is going to absolutely love. So fun. Oh my goodness. And that one hits me in the feels for a lot of reasons, as you can imagine. Because <laughs> you've been watching, so you probably know. Um, just meeting, meeting another kindred spirit always makes me feel big feelings. And we're also getting close in the next few weeks. Um, we're having a memorial service for my friend Chelsea at the Fisherman's Terminal, and we're installing a memorial stone with her name on it and a little message that I wrote that will be there forever. And almost to one year since we lost her, and I just am all up in my feelings lately <laughs> about a lot of things, but a lot especially about that. And if you've been watching my videos for the last year, I made several videos about grief and it was a really weird experience to go through grief really publicly here on YouTube. And so that just, that means a lot to me to know that those, that those videos are appreciated as well and not just the, <laughs> the really fun ones. Thank you, Dave. I'm gonna run out of time to record. So I'm going to set aside the postcards to read on the go. <laughs> We have a beautiful one here. This one makes me feel like I'm gone back in time. This handwriting is outrageous. Oh my goodness. It's cool to be me. I don't always feel like that, but look at this letter. It's so beautiful. Dear Sarah, I am so happy to write this first letter to the Steel Mill Superstar. I hope this will arrive to find you and your beautiful family doing well. My name is Tony. I am a six-year-old father of six wonderful children. I am a musician. I play keyboard and sing, and I am in an eight-piece horn band. We play public venues and private functions, such as weddings or corporate events. If you are interested in seeing our group's site, it is flashbackkc.com. This is like the day for fountain pen letters and different inks and like, oh, I'm in heaven. My venture into the fountain pen world was three years ago with my first purchase. It was a Kaneko sport that I ruined by putting calligraphy ink in before I watched video number two. <laughs> what not to do with your fountain pens <laughs> was the name of the video. Luckily, I recovered and in the blink of an eye, I accumulated over 100 pens. This is amazing. I have slowed to a virtual stop. <laughs> and that is an asterisk, lie number one. <laughs> as much as I love fountain pens, I am a stationary fanatic as pens do no good without the ink and no good without paper. What I love most is to write. That's what made me thrilled to correspond with you. I so believe in writing letters. I have quite a few pen pals and wrote a bit over 500 letters last year. I just, I will take some photos of these and share them on Instagram because all of these letters are so beautiful. Tony, your handwriting is incredible. I still have letters that I received over 30 years ago. In fact, I have letters that my uncle wrote to my mother and grandparents from the battlefield of France in World War II. They are priceless as I never got to know him, but feel that I can connect to his soul in his letters. I was like not going to cry today. That's exactly how I feel about my great grandfather's postcard collection and, and my, my grandma's letters that I have. I can certainly relate. Sarah, I will bring this to a close hoping that you have enjoyed this as much as I have writing it. I hope to hear from you if you get the opportunity. Please take care, Tony. That's wonderful. 
I will certainly respond. That was such a beautiful letter. This is the first time in a long time that I feel like I've more or less caught up on my backlog of letters, so it's very exciting. <laughs> now I have some new ones to send. And I have one here from Kim, which is very obvious by the delightful art on the envelope. I love it. Always love to hear from Kim. I won't read you the whole thing, because I like to save some things for me. But if this part says, Sarah, I love how you wrote about doing one positive thing a day instead of saving those happy moments for things like weekends. I am the same way. Even if it's just mindful time watering my plants or cutting ephemera with a cup of tea listening to music, I'm always trying to focus on the positive, peaceful things no matter how small they are. I honestly feel like it's helped with the anxiety and depression I've struggled with for so long. Life around me is changing and hurting, but practicing this has given me more joy and peace. Ooh, this sparkly one. I like the liner. That's really pretty. And pens and ink. It's really fun. It says, I got new cards, so I thought I'd send just a little hello. Go Sounders. Alicia. <laughs> I have one here from Elizabeth. It's got a very cool stamp, and it says, we thank you for your dedication. Come rain, come snow, come hail or sleet, the postman always delivers. So many letters from new pen pals today. This is very exciting. Somebody watched the Lisa Frank video. I love it. A simple hello can lead to a million things. Hello, Sarah. I hope this day has been good for you. I hope you're feeling better. You mentioned feeling sick. Sending healing energies to you. I think I'm finally well. Thank goodness. My voice is still a little crusty, but that's mostly from screaming my head off at the Sounders game last night. I'm pleased to write you today, although we don't know each other yet. I am Elizabeth, and I subscribe to Taylor Jordan's Maple Post blog. She included a link to Snail Mail Superstar YouTube channel in her newsletter, and boy, oh boy, am I ever glad she did. I didn't know that. I'll have to go take a look. Thank you for telling me. The Snail Mail gods led me to click on the link, and that's how I got to meet you. Yay! I watched the video. April is National Card and Letter Writing Month, and I'm so glad I did. I'm participating in the hashtag Send Cards Spread Love campaign. Today is day one, and you are my first card recipient. Thank you. There are two things I want to share with you today. One enclosed is a little Linka Lisa Frank note for you. Please give the other one to Michelle. I will. It was such a blast from the past for me to watch that video. I actually, actually purchased Lisa Frank stationery for my daughter back in the day. Enjoy. Number two, the second thing I'd like to share with you today is a quote. Friendship is born at that moment when one person says to another, what, you too? I thought I was the only one. C.S. Lewis. That quote clearly expresses how I felt when I watched your video and heard your expression of passion for snail mail, happy mail, postcards, stickers, pen pals, stationary stuff, the power of words, and the value of connecting to others. You make a difference. So thankful for you, Sarah. You were a gem. Hugs, Lizzie. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you so much. I know Michelle will be excited to get one of these. This is a really good mail day. They're all good mail days, but I've got one here from Mike. It says on it, handwritten letter just for you. The lost art of the handwritten letter, my thoughts in pen and paper with love. The lost art that we are finding <laughs> all together. All right, I am very late to go meet Jen, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and save this one and see if I can't read a couple of these postcards on the go. Let's try to do that. Hello from Sydney, Australia. I wholeheartedly support your snail mail revival as my grandmother instilled in me a love of thank you cards and snail mail. I think of your Fisherman's Terminal store every time I walk by one of your framed stationary cards in our home. Oops, out of room. Bye, Heidi. Australia stamp. Just a few words for you. A character by Laureate, a famous humorist, actor, and draftsman. Monty Python is so popular in the UK, Laureate has a similar meaning in Germany. His real name is actually Vico. I may be German, but I cannot pronounce German words. I saw him once a few years ago. He was so unbelievably eloquent and a true gentleman. And yes, Germans have humor sometimes. Take care, giddy. Double stamp on this one too. It's awesome. It says, hi Sarah, thank you so much for hosting a fun letter writing meetup. It was great to meet you and other fellow snail mail lovers. I was able to get some writing done on a few long letters that are works in progress. Afterwards, I visited the shop and picked out some goodies that I'm looking forward to sending this month. 
Hope to attend another meetup soon. Nina. Dear Snail Mail Superstar, greetings from where I'm at, a place where I feel like I'm everywhere and nowhere all at once. It's this weird place of growth where we push against our comfort zone and expand our arms and wrap a bigger hug around the world surrounding us. It's not easy and we fall many times, many, many times. But with a whole idea of plus one, we get up plus one times. Plus one times we get up from each time we fall. Fall three times, get up four. It's much easier said than done, but we have friends and support networks. The trick is to find them because it's not always out in the open. And that admittedly is hard and often unfair. I feel so lucky to have such support places in the world to send a card like this and for that I say thank you. Thank you for showing us we have the permission to learn, try, fall, get up, learn, and try again. It's so worth it even when it's hard. It's been quiet on my end because I'm learning to love and it's taking some resources but in due time mail will flow. I feel like I say this a lot but I guess that's just life in new and uncharted territory. It's a world of mystery where epiphanies await the curious mind, where some things aren't always as they seem, but that's essentially magic, right? Thank you for all your postcards, letters, and videos. I hope your National Letter Writing Month is going well. I send belated well wishes, well wishes to the writing party today. Magically, Jay. All right, I am back much later after a delicious burger and pile of cheese curds and a walk and getting things done and answering some emails and doing some work, another cup of coffee, and I'm back to finish opening my mail. So I was midway through reading the letter. Let's just <laughs> pick up where we left off. So Mike was writing to me and he had sent me on Twitter some encouragement about writing my book and included a story here that he had told me about. So let's go to it. I promised to tell you about how my writing came to be included in a Wall Street Journal and New York Times bestselling business book. Years ago, I read a book called Multipliers by Liz Wiseman. It's a leadership book and includes a bunch of insights into human nature. After reading the book, I wrote Liz a letter explaining that the U.S. Navy could use it in its postgraduate education seminars. Liz and I began a correspondence that led to her leading her seminars at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. Liz and her teams teach around the world. The first chapter in her book was about a tank commander and the challenges he faced with his superiors. Liz found some readers were challenged to relate to the story and she asked me to rewrite it. I jumped at the chance and wrote about a great young black sailor who escaped the violence and drugs in Detroit, Michigan to become a naval officer. The publishers accepted my story and republished her book with my new chapter, One Vignette, in it. This was an opportunity that I had only, that I had only because I took the time to write Liz a letter nearly 10 years ago. Her book and her business are doing great. Writing letters is important. Years and years ago, I followed a blog and a young woman wrote about raising her daughter. It turned into a million dollar career. I hope you have that kind of success, but mostly I wish your lovely family happiness. <laughs> Yours, Nick. Happiness really is what it's about. I have a gorgeous one. Look at that. And this person obviously has been paying attention because there are many of the things that I love, including Wonder Woman, Bison, Space. Amazing. Ooh, and it's a typewriter letter. <laughs> Dear Sarah, hello and happy National Letter Writing Month. Like you, I believe sending snail mail creates joy. I wanted to send you some and I hope it makes you smile. Thank you, Sarah, for putting kindness, empathy, and respect out into the world. Anyone who does so should be championed and you do so much of it. Thank you. <laughs> Side note, I love how pronounced the periods on my typewriter are. I don't know why, but they look so cute to me. I like them too. All your punctuation is very bold. It's nice. <laughs> yes, I am a huge nerd, but isn't it fun? You are not alone. <laughs> Speaking of the typewriter, please excuse the typos. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to say that I too ba battle anxiety and depression and that you are not alone. I admire the way you press on in spite of it. You are doing a great job. That was springtime in Seattle. I watched your walk to work video and I just love how you described yourself as the Johnny Appleseed of postcards here. Here in Arizona, the desert is a bloom with wildflowers and it's a marvelous sight. I see such grace and mercy from the Lord in the desert. When the rains come at just the right time and life explodes from the hard ground. It's such a glimpse of life-giving redemptive work. 
Well, Sarah, I hope you enjoy the rest of April immensely. Thank you for taking the time to read my messy letter. I really feel like we would be friends if we knew each other. Maybe snail mail will give us that chance. Typewriter emoji. <laughs> and then it says, that is not a statement of pressure at all, by the way, so don't feel that way. Much love, Shay. I love that metaphor of seeing grace in nature. If you've been around for very long or hang out for very long, you will hear me talk about daffodils in the spring, and that is exactly how I feel. Um, and I wrote about it quite a bit in my book because I think one of the big themes in my life is hope and seeing all of the examples of hope pop up everywhere. And um, especially in, in, in nature, when those are those, those things that just come from the earth and surprise you. Like we had two feet of snow two months ago and yet everything under the ground is still blooming and coming up for life again. I think it's wonderful. I had a really nice lunch with my friend. Just, I'm enjoying my day. One here from Canada. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those are super fun. Hi, Sarah. I've been a fan of yours for a while and finally decided to reach out to you. For years, I've tried to put into words what writing letters means to me and you did it so elegantly in your video. It's about connecting with people and geeking out over stationary stamps, postcards from around the world, and taking a few moments to get away from all the screens. Thank you for encouraging people to connect and being an inspiration to other designers. I also have a stationary line and hearing your enthusiasm for letters and mail motivates me to make more. I also love seeing what people send to you. Maybe I can try something similar, but I am shy. So we'll likely have lots of outtakes like the ends of your vids. It takes me a long time to film a video, <laughs> like a really long time, because I'm awkward. Keep up the great work and looking forward to following your journey on social media. Take care, Tara. And it says that she designed these stickers herself, which is so wonderful. I love this guy and these. So that is super fun. I will um I will find her her info her website and put that in the description box below because we support our snail mail superstars. That's so wonderful and I would love to watch your videos so you should make them and I will watch them and enjoy them. This video was 100,000 clips today because I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> That's all right. We've got one here from Will. He snailed it. <laughs> Dear Sarah, happy letter writing month. You inspire me. Thank you for all you've created and the community you've built. Keep up the good work. Thanks for sharing your authentic self. Sincerely, Will. Snails. Got one here from Hey Mail Lady. <laughs> oh, I love it. Friends make the world a happier place. Especially good friends like you have a wonderful Easter. Thanks for making my world a more exciting and fun place. <laughs> Love you, Christine. That's so sweet. That's like the best Easter card. Covered in daffodils. This week has been a little bit wild. A lot of change on the air. A lot of things going on. And you can be sure I will keep you in the loop on everything that happens. This is definitely where I go to talk things through. And I appreciate you being here and listening. And thank you for sending me mail. I am super excited to get to responding to all these beautiful letters. It's time to pull out my typewriter again. I was sick so much of this month and traveling and busy. And I swear it's been one thing after the next. So I haven't been able to write as many letters as I would have liked this month. But the beautiful thing is, is that snail mail season is 365. <laughs> so you can bet I'm going to be sending mail no matter what month it is, no matter what year it is, no matter what day it is, it's going to be happening. So stick with me. I've got lots more fun things to come. And I thank you for celebrating this special National Cart and Letter Writing Month with me. It's definitely been fun. And with that, I bid you adieu. Snail soup is done. <laughs> I'm tired. Is it nap time?